The problem of stray animals in Montreal has been described by some as a crisis situation. Conservative estimates suggest 50,000 stray dogs and cats are picked up across the island each and every year. Now that is on par with the city of New York. Today, local politicians and animal advocates got together to discuss ways to try and address the problem. Derek Conlon on that. Every year, the Montreal SPCA alone takes in 14,000 dogs and cats, animals either dropped off at their location or picked up in the boroughs and cities that pay the SPCA for those services. But that's something the SPCA would like to see change. What we would like to see is to really move towards the type of model we're looking at in Calgary, where uh, the city is taking on part of that responsibility. Devine was one of about 100 people who attended this conference aimed at finding better solutions to the animal control problem. Still fresh in many minds was a report earlier this year by the Radio Canada program Enquête and the treatment at the Berger Blanc Pound. Some people are now pushing for tighter controls on pounds and municipal oversight. If you've never licensed, come and get a license now for free. Bill Bruce runs Calgary's municipal shelter. His unit works in partnership with Calgary's Humane Society, veterinarians and shelters. But Bruce says the city takes the lead. And it's yielded tremendous results in reduced euthanasia, reduced aggressive incidents and a high, high return to owner rate. All funded by license fees, not tax dollars. 90% of Calgary's dogs and 54% of their cats are licensed. Bruce says the high compliance rate can be explained as value for money. People know if they lose their pet, the city will do its best to reunite them. This year, probably 40% of the dogs I pick up won't even come to the shelter. They'll be driven straight home. A number of pounds have animal control contracts for the various cities and boroughs on the island. This Cote St. Luke City Councillor thinks the issue should be handled island-wide. I think that we have an opportunity in Montreal uh, for the Agglomeration Council maybe to play a role. I mean, we're so involved with them in so many other matters. But the first order of business will be to get everyone involved. Derek Conlon, CTV News. Now, Postscript, CTV.